Texas State's graduation is approaching fast, but are you ready to walk across the stage? Here's what you can do to prepare. Soon, this room is going to be filled with voting booths where Texas State students can come and cast their ballot from the convenience of their own university. The ceremonies begin here in Strahan Coliseum on December 13th. For more information on how you can prepare, contact Academic Services. Texas State University police are questioning two people following the evacuation of the undergraduate academic center just before 3 this afternoon. If you've applied to graduate and want to walk in the commencement, you'll need to buy a cap and gown. You can find them at the LBJ Student Center in the bookstore for about $30. Other optional purchases include invitations to send to your friends and family, class rings, and diploma frames. Academic Advising Supervisor Amy Beck says once you have your cap and gown, the only thing left to do is finish your remaining classes and look forward to the ceremony. Oh, it's so exciting. It's one of the happiest occasions that there is. Over 3,000 students are graduating this December, so plan to arrive early. On the day of the ceremony, you'll first check in at Jowers Gym 101 and 102. Your advisors will be there to hand you a card with your name on it. This will help you to find your place in line and provides information for the photographer. Once you're in line, you're ready to walk the stage. Graduating senior Robert Nunez and many other soon-to-be graduates probably share similar feelings of anticipation. I'm kind of excited being a month away, um, so it's kind of hitting me right now that I'm going to graduate, so it's, it's pretty exciting. The ceremonies begin here in Strahan Coliseum on December 13th. For more information on how you can prepare, contact Academic Services. Congratulations to all the upcoming graduates, and for Bobcat Update, I'm John Wilkinson. Soon, this room is going to be filled with voting booths where Texas State students can come and cast their ballot from the convenience of their own university. According to the United States Census Bureau, adults aged 18 to 29 make up almost one-fourth of the voters, yet turnout rates are among the lowest in this age group. So if we actually turned out, we would have a more representative government that would advocate for our issues. Some Texas State students say having polls on campus is a convenience. Just having it here, it's convenient. We have a lot of students that live here on campus, like why not have a voting place here on campus? You can vote in many locations in Hayes County starting on October 24th, but if you want to vote on the Texas State campus, you can do so from October 27th through the 30th at 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. in the LBJ Ballroom. The general election is Tuesday, November 4th. For more information on voting locations, visit the Hayes County Government website. For Bobcat Update, I'm John Wilkinson. Coming up, we'll take a look at the rising debt crisis for college students. But we begin with breaking news on the Texas State campus. Texas State University police are questioning two people following the evacuation of the undergraduate academic center just before 3 this afternoon. Police say the evacuation was prompted after a woman reported seeing an individual with a gun. The UAC has reopened and the police department has determined there is no active threat. The university issued a timely warning just after 3 o'clock this afternoon. Texas State head volleyball coach Karen Chisholm is celebrating her 800th win with a 3-0 victory over Troy University. Coach Chisholm and her team brought in the win on senior night at the last home game of the regular season. Chisholm became the 22nd collegiate volleyball coach to reach the milestone and only the 13th coach in NCAA Division I history in any sport to reach 800 wins. Coach Chisholm credits her success to all of the players and assistants she has worked with during her 37 years at Texas State. In her words, it's a great day to be a Bobcat. Students and faculty at Texas State are getting ready for the Mass Communication Autumn Gala. The Public Relations Student Society of America is organizing the first ever event, where the MassCom Leader of the Year Award will be presented. It will take place in the LBJ Student Center Ballroom tonight from 8 to midnight. There will be desserts and dancing. It's not too late to buy tickets for tonight's event. They cost $7 and can be bought online. Visit txstateprssa.org for more information.